they can have all Congress this first attempted to impose an income tax, the notion of taking a citizen's hard work was considered radical. Public outcry ensued. More importantly, the Supreme Court ruled the income tax unconstitutional. Yeah. Only with the passage of the 16th Amendment did Congress gain the ability to tax the productive endeavors of its citizens. And of course, there are people who say that that amendment was not ratified properly. Yet, we don't need an income tax to fund the important functions of the federal government. You may be surprised to know, and probably none of you are, that the income tax accounts for only one-third of federal revenue. Only 10 years ago, the federal budget was roughly one-third less than it is today, and this was written in 2001. Surely we could find ways to cut taxes, cut spending back to 1990 levels, especially when the Treasury has single-year tax surpluses for the past several years. Well, we've lost that, haven't we? So perhaps the idea of America without an income tax is not so radical after all. The harmful effects of the income tax are obvious. First and foremost, it has enabled government to expand far behind its, beyond its proper constitutional limits, regulating virtually every aspect of our lives. It has given government a claim on our lives and work, destroying our privacy in the process. It takes billions of dollars out of the legitimate private economy, with most Americans giving more than a third of everything they make to the federal government. Considered our founders would be dismayed by the income tax mess and the tragic loss of liberty which results. America without an income tax would be far more prosperous and far more free, but we must be prepared to fight to regain the liberty we have lost incrementally over the past century. It's not just my lifetime and your lifetime, it's a century. Ron Paul recently introduced the Liberty Amendment legislation which would repeal the 16th Amendment and effectively abolish the income tax. Yeah. 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 He truly believed that tax reform, reform that so many frustrated Americans desperately want, requires bold legislation that challenges the Washington mindset. Congress talks about reform, but the tax debate really involves nothing of substance. Both parties are content to continue tinkering with the edges of the tax code to please various special interests. The Liberty Amendment is an attempt to eliminate the system altogether, forcing Congress to find a simple and fair way to collect limited federal revenues. Most of all, the Liberty Amendment is an initiative in aimed at reducing the size and scope of the federal government. Is it impossible to end the income tax? Yes! yes. yes. No! no. It's not impossible. No, I don't think so. Fair tax. <laughs> He said this in 2001. Ron Paul believes a serious groundswell movement of disaffected taxpayers is growing in this country. Millions of Americans are fed up with the current tax system and they will bring pressure on Congress. Some sidestep Congress completely, being legal challenges questioning the validity of the tax code and the 16th Amendment itself. Ultimately, the Liberty Amendment could serve as a flashpoint for these millions of voices. <laughs> you know, um, someone said something that reminded me uh, he, when he was talking about socialism and, and all of us marching in step. Everybody complains about America's schools. The American school system, the government school system, has succeeded beyond its wildest dreams in turning this nation into a nation of sheep. Who say, Mother, may I, before they take a step? This is the evil that we face today, and we must fight against with all the weapons at our disposal. Peacefully revolt against the federal government overstepping its bound. When they ruled the income tax unconstitutional, they were right. We are individuals who have the right to our lives and our liberty. Without our liberty, our lives are worthless. They give their money away. They never give it away. They take ours and yeah, give it away. They want to take ours, but they want to give theirs away. They don't they don't give the, let them give their money. They're only generous with your wallet. That's, That's right. right. That's right. They're doing this out of their pocket. Who else wants to stand right here? 
This is getting so out of control, it's breaking the backs of good working people, the backbone of this country. Yeah! We can't take it anymore. Well, I'm not going to take it anymore. I had enough. We, we've got another problem with the income tax. And the problem is that uh, not every voter is a taxpayer. And every yeah. voter should be a taxpayer. Yeah. Right. You to, to sit down at the poker table and to be able to play the game without putting something in the pot yeah. is not right. fair. And right now you have maybe 50% of the American public that's, that gets to vote on how the other 50%'s money is spent. And the, right. the, the Real easy to tax, make those votes. The income tax has degenerated into this situation where it's not affecting everybody. And about the only way to fix it is to get rid of it. A consumption tax would make every voter a taxpayer, and then every voter would think a little more carefully about whether they want to pay for this particular government program or that one. If the program doesn't cost you, then of course you support it. So that, that's, a, that's my argument for getting rid of the income tax, is to make every voter a taxpayer. Thank you. And make them take a drug test before they get a check. He basically said we should go to the consumption tax. That's right. That's a what he said. Tax is fair. And if you think that a consumption tax is not fair to the poor, then don't tax drug free dealers can't get out of goods it. that you buy at the thrift store. Don't yeah. tax secondhand products and then pay. the poor are not hit as hard because only new goods could be taxed. And then everybody argues against the consumption tax, saying that it hurts the person who has to spend their money on things they need and they have to pay a tax on it. But there are lots of things that we have to have that are exempt from sales tax. And that would continue to be true. So we don't need to be worried. And like he said, hey, um, we got a bigger problem than the income tax and whether it's legal or not. If you look around, how many of us are standing here? And who is it that's not here? It's the media. There's no newspaper guys. There's no. They're going to ignore us to death. They're going to. Praise the Lord. That's right. They're, they have. The, they are going to make a concerted effort to ignore this to death. If you watch the leftist media, if you watch the Olbermann and those guys, they're simply. They're talking about. I hope you're right, but we're up. And we're up against, we're up against the dysfunction in California. They just reinstated the ban against offshore drilling. So they repealed the repeal. Oh, repeal the drill the repeal. Drill no. A giant pool of so oil under this guy up here said, This guy up here said, you know, <laughs> tell your kids and your nephews and everything. You know, it it needs to be so logarithmic. It needs to be so viral because the left figured this out five years ago and they kicked everybody's butts in the last two elections. And the Republicans had it coming. Yeah. 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 But now, yeah. They had a candidate, the but they left him out. Now it's, now it's time to wise up and figure out how the media works, because if we can't attract young people who are really smart with the technology, because that's what the leftists have. They've got the college kids. They've got the computer kids. We had Ron Paul. seen them, but there's about six, seven, eight taxes, from franchise tax to excise tax to this tax. They are getting you every little spot they can. That's just one example, okay? There's taxes on everything they're doing. They hit, they're tagging everything. And they're going after the farmers now with a tax in this for water. It's not stopping. It's more and more and more. Now, how ridiculous is that?